Hey, hey, what's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. So, we are looking at polynomials here, looking at distributing the distributive property. You can call it foiling, binomial distribution, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, a lot of people have some issues with this, especially when it comes to, well, multiplying variables, how to know you're actually done, checking your work, all that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get to it here. Let's have a good time. X plus nine multiplied by X minus four. There's actually a very straightforward way to think about multiplying and distributing variables of any kind. Really, the rule is this. Make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. That's the main idea. Make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. As long as you follow that main idea, it doesn't matter if it's two by two. So two terms, x9, x minus four, two terms. Doesn't matter if it's two terms by two, doesn't matter if it's three by two, four by two, one by five, doesn't matter. Just make sure that everything from one side multiplies with everything from the other, and you're fine. When it comes to two by twos like this, you might recognize this as foil. First, outside, inside, last. You may think of it like that too. But here's the thing. The main idea is this. Just make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other x times x is x squared because anything times itself is squared five times five five squared ten times ten ten squared x times x x squared as always my math bad party people thank you for watching this video before we continue just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the asvab if you struggle with test anxiety blanking out on problems then you need to consider the asvab all access program thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why, again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So then make sure that that X multiplies with that X and also multiplies with that minus four. So negative four multiplied by X. First, keep it cool. Start with the sign. A positive times a negative is a negative. A four times an X, well, there's no number in front of the X. It, there is a one there. So one times four is just going to be four. There's no other variable, so just repeat the X. Then you'll go ahead and keep moving here. The nine now, since we already exhausted the X with both X and negative four, again, we made sure that everything from here multiplies with everything from the other, right? Yeah. Now here, we're going to take the nine with the X and the nine with the negative four. It is that simple, everybody. Again, just make sure everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. So nine times X, nine X. Then nine times negative four. Well, a positive times a negative gives me a negative. And then nine times four gives me 36. Boom. So if you notice, we actually just did FOIL. Notice this, look. First, outside, inside, last. We just did FOIL. But if you stick to the idea of, again, multiplying everything from one parentheses with everything from the other, you can change the problem up. You can get something like this. You can get something like this, seriously, and handle it like a boss. You can do a three by three, as crazy as that looks. You can do that, though, because all you have to do is make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. Again, you can get a problem like this done, no problem, no problem. No problem. Obviously, there's a lot more steps there, but it's still just the same. It's the same process. So make sure you understand that nice and well. That way, even if the problem is a little more complicated than you're used to, you can still handle it like a boss. So here we are. Now that we've done the multiplication, we're not done. The last step that we need to take care of is called combining like terms. So we'll combine like terms, all right? So to combine like terms, all we need to do is spot the terms that have the same variables and the same exponent. So very key, okay? Same variables, so x's 
but also the same exponent, only these. Only the negative 4x and the positive 9x. So make sure that when you combine like terms, make sure that you are bringing the signs with you. We have a negative 4x and a positive 9. Negative 4 plus 9, remember this everybody to give yourself an easier time. Negative 4x plus 9 is the same thing as saying this. It's the same thing as saying 9x minus 4x. It's the same thing. So you can, you know, not... You know, not let your anxiety take over. If you understand how addition and subtraction works, you can go ahead and just see the easy way right away. And so 9 minus 4 is going to give us 5. And so our answer here will be x squared plus 5x minus 36, making answer choice C the correct answer. Just like that. So please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. If I helped you out, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Let's keep facing the ASVAB. I got your back. Let's go. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.